Okay, so the question wants us to use the information to determine at least four physical quantities. Well, first we can determine the electrical force, which is F e equals to K times Q1, Q2 over R squared. Since the charge here we are talking about is only the electrons, so all the electrons have the same charge, so we can just use Q to stand for Q1, Q2. Therefore, we have F e is equal to K times Q squared over R squared. If we plug in the value, we have 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton times meter squared over coulomb squared times Q squared, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb. And holding square over R squared. R, which is the distance between the electrons, which is the Radius in this case, which is given at 0 0.53 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 10 meter and then whole thing square. And this will give us the electric force is about 8.2 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 8 newtons. Okay? Since we got an electric force, and another physical quantity we can determine is the electric field. Okay, and electric field is equal to the electric force divided by the charge. Okay, and this will give us the electric field is equal to K times Q over R squared. Okay. Now we plug in the value, we have 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton times meter square per um, coulomb square. Then times the charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs over R squared, which is 0 0.53 times 10 to the power of negative 10. Oops. Like 10 meter and a whole thing square, and this will give us the electric field is about one point, I'm sorry, 5.13 times 10 to the power of 11 Newton per coulomb. Okay, so since now we have elect the value for electric force and the electric field, we can also determine the electric potential. And electric potential is equal to electric field times the distance between electrons. In this case, you can just say uh, E times R, since that's the distance, okay? And this will give us V is equal to K times Q over R, okay? So if we plug in the value, we have 9 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton times meter square over Coulomb square times Q, which is uh, the charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 Coulombs over the distance, which is 0 0.53 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter. And this will give us the potential, the electric potential is about um, 27.17 voltage, okay? So this is the electric potential on electrons. And therefore we can have electric potential energy since we know the electric potential. And electric potential energy, let's say U, okay? U is equal to the charge Q times the potential difference, which is Q times V, okay? And this will give us U is simply equal to K, uh, Q squared over R. Okay. 
And if we plug in the value, we will have k, which is 9 times 10 to the power 9 Newton times meter square over Coulomb square. Hence, the charge square is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 Coulomb to the power square. And OR, which is the distance, which is 0 0.53 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter. Okay? And this will give us the uh, electric potential is about, uh, let me see. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Um, it was about. It's about four point three five times ten to the power of negative eighteen joule. Okay. So this is the electric potential energy. Okay. So these are the four quantities I can list based on the information from the question. Okay. And thank you. This is my answer to the question.